this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a simple plant cell, and I'm going to include all of the structures you can see here. Let's not waste any time. Okay, with a plant cell, the first thing to draw is the cell wall. And for this, we'll do a relatively large rectangle that takes up most of the space available from top to bottom. But I do have space either side to do my labeling. And here, I'm going to make sure it connects to where I started as best as possible. So I haven't left any broken lines. I haven't done it like that or like that or sort of crossed over like that. Make sure that we keep it as tidy as possible. And then next on the inside, I'm going to do the cell membrane. And that's just another continuous line just inside of the cell wall. And then next I'm going to draw quite a large round structure. This will be the nucleus. And then within the middle, I'm going to draw the vacuole. Another relatively large rectangular structure, but there's quite a bit of space between the vacuole and the cell membrane. And again, as always, I'm doing my best to make sure that those lines connect up quite nicely. Okay, and then next I'm going to add a few mitochondria in there. Now, if I do this quite large here, the mitochondria, it's quite a large round or oval structure. Maybe more sort of like that. And it's also got a membrane. It has a membrane on the outside, but also a membrane on the inside. And on the inside, these membrane, this membrane forms these projections like this. I'm drawing as randomly as I can. Like that. And they kind of go in. So this is one single mitochondrion right there. So it should be something like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw two of those within my cell. I'm going to place them fairly randomly, but they must be placed between the vacuole and the cell membrane. We, no, we can't draw them within the vacuole. Whenever drawn structures in biology like this, do not aim for perfection. The structures will never be perfectly straight lines, perfect circles, anything like that. Okay, so I've got a couple of mitochondria in there. And then next, I'm going to draw a lot of smaller circles. By that, I mean smaller than the nucleus. And these are going to be my chloroplasts. This particular type of cell is a palisade cell. And palisade cells have got lots and lots of chloroplasts in them. Chloroplasts are responsible for photosynthesis. And the primary function of these cells is photosynthesis. So it's got loads and loads and loads of them. Okay, now as I'm looking back over it, you know, these, these chloroplasts, they're all the same, the same organelle, and really they should be around about the same size. Not exactly, but close enough. And I would say that this one here, I think is maybe it's just a little bit too small. Maybe this one here as well. So I'm going to remove them and have another go at those. Okay, so you can see I've removed a few of the others as well. They just don't quite match the relative scale of the others. Don't worry about getting this perfect, getting it right first time. You know, you can go back over, you can make changes, you can repeat it if you need to.
Okay, I think that's looking fairly good. So the only other thing left to do now is to label all of those structures. Try your best not to cut through any structures if you can avoid it. So I've drawn my line from the word nucleus to the nucleus itself, and I've had to cut through the cell membrane and the cell wall, but you know, I haven't cut through any other organelles. I haven't cut unnecessarily through chloroplasts, for example. It's best to try and avoid cutting through anything that you don't have to. Now notice it's important to be pretty precise with where your lines go to. This line is going to that inner structure, whereas the next one the next line is going to the outer structure. And what's more, I'm making sure that the line itself actually connects up. So for example, I'm not doing that and generally getting it in the right area. And I'm not doing this where it points to the structure. It should just be a line that connects up to the thing I'm trying to label. Now, as I've said, this inner structure here, this whole thing is the vacuole. And I want to label it in a way that I don't end up cutting through. So for example, um, cutting through another organelle. So there's the label line there. There's the, the label there. And here you can see that I've gone straight through this chloroplast there. And I don't want to do that. So what I'm actually gonna do instead I'm going to draw the label line first and I'll do it from here. And now I'm not going through any structures unnecessarily. Just like before, I am forced to cut through the cell membrane and the cell wall, that's unavoidable, but I'm not cutting through anything that I don't absolutely have to. Okay, and then the last part, something that we haven't mentioned yet is the cytoplasm and the cytoplasm is there sort of the the part that all of the organelles are floating in so that's anything really between the cell membrane and the vacuole so anything in that area we can label as the cytoplasm and that's how we draw a plant cell Obviously, colouring it is optional, um, but it's sometimes nice to colour in the plant cells, especially because then you get to emphasise the green colour of the chloroplasts. <laughs> 